Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to install XFCE, desktop uh, environment, inside of or on the distro of Antergos. This is the logo of Antergos. And we're actually already having an uh, XFCE and we have installed VirtualBox on it and simple screen recorder and we're off to install it. So this is the information. <coughs> That's the engine we're on. VirtualBox is ready. Uh, everything has been installed. I did install also the VirtualBox editions, so you can put them in, in devices, insert guest edition, CDNet image, and I've installed it as well. It's not necessary, not all the time. So uh, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Full screen mode. Let's see if we can record it. I uh, would like to have it without this black bar at the bottom. Let's see if I can change this or not. Resize to 192. This is the one I want. Let's see if it improves things. Yeah, it improves things. So now we can go ahead. You can follow the tutorial, the, the screenshots I've made on erudubar.be in the article. So it's only 12, I don't know, 15 screenshots. And then you decide to install the desktop environment XFCE on Antergos and you're arriving at this screen. Maybe not this screen since we're on virtual machine, not with this icon here. But the rest is similar. Okay, um, what should you do next? What to do? And that's what we're going to go over. You sometimes see, will see other elements like this here. So do remember we're a virtual box. That's why when I click on the right uh, screen that the left screen receives this kind of look okay um, let's customize it well the thing we can do is of course um, tweak these elements but before we tweak we first should get uh, some information some some files why because it's much easier to install elements from uh, in a script rather than going to the terminal and say sudo pacman minus s firefox sudo pacman minus s google chrome and so on so it's there on the net use it uh, we're not gonna google it just type github eric dubois we're talking about antergos and we're talking about xfce let's see if that works I guess not. So we just go to GitHub of Eric Dubois repositories, and there are lots of articles still to be made. All desktop environments will be created. This time it's about Antergos XFCE. We clone. We can download it or clone it since I am making the and improving always the um, scripts. Then I clone it. So I just click here, let's copy paste it. I'm going to my home, making a folder, some procedure of working. Open in terminal here. I should git clone it, but maybe git clone or git is not uh, installed yet. So sudo pacman minus s git. Let's check out. Mm -hmm, not installed yet clone and now we have to copy paste or type it it's not that uh, difficult github.com Eric Dubois Antergos and then a desktop environment mate xfce open box cinnamon all coming Antergos xfce4 okay so this is just information what we need is the installation We've just installed Antegos, so the servers will be okay. So the fastest Antegos mirrors and all that, the mirrors for Arch will be okay. So actually, it's good to start at 40. As you can see, XFCE is going to divide it quite nicely in one fourth of a half, whatever you want. So it's uh, one of the distros that does supply us one with a quarter of a screen, which I prefer. Okay, Packer is going to be installed. What is Packer? It's a program to install the AUR packages. So 
you have core packages, core software, and there is software coming from elsewhere. So the software that's uh, provided by users, the user Arch user database or repository. So 40 is a way to install stuff. Packer is a new program we're going to use. Then all the software that's coming from the standard uh, core repositories, like for instance a Clementine you see here. Clementine, Bleach Pit, uh, programs like Color D, Deconf Editor, Evolution, FileZilla. And if you're wondering what is he doing, just open it and read it. Not with LibreOffice, of course, so it is, it's a clean install. So let's tell him not to do that again. Open with another application, right mouse click, mousepad please. That's a small program. Sublime Text is not yet installed, that's coming. So the only thing I'm doing here is telling install it, that's the S. I don't need any confirmation like do you want to install? Yes, no. So no confirm, yes, meaning yes. Need it, I've added this because I test the scripts. And if you say need it, if it's already installed, he will skip it. So it's quicker to see where things went wrong and it's not going to reinstall everything again. So that, that's why you need it. And then there, everything is alphabetically. You can read what I install. And this is to have uh, in the Conky Ariola, we can see how much we downloaded and how much we uploaded. So that's a statistical way to see how much usage you would do per month, per year, and so on. Everything to unpack, and in a bit we'll have everything installed. We are already at the VLC, so it's alphabetically, so we're, we're done. Okay, <coughs> 200. 200 is nothing more than using just a few lines to tell almost do nothing. So every everywhere with a, a hashtag, he's doing nothing. He's not running this, he's not running this. So this one is running. So NeoFetch is being run. And what does that entail? That entails all the things from here to back there. So these are all scripts I'm not installing, or mostly not installing. So there are a lot of more, a lot more scripts in there and I just don't want to pump your hard disk full with software. Just a few items I like to install just for me. I use all the time like Sublime Text, I use all the time Spotify, I use all the time, things like that. But things you really want to install say, oh yeah, Corbert, it's Twitter, I'm, I'm a user of Twitter, then you should install it as well, and put the hashtag in front, away, or add the line, and it's in the script, that's why forking is so interesting, make a copy of this GitHub, change the scripts, and use them to your liking. We ended with uh, hard-coded uh, icons that have been changed, so there are some icons that never change, whatever icon team you take, but with this hard code fixer, this one, then everything is beautiful. That's been set. That's 200. Let's go to 300. We're going to install the teams, the icons, cursors, and conky. Meaning again, he's going to go and see some of the scripts. He's going to run them. And other ones are not included. So it's up to you to include whatever you want. So here's the Areola Conky. Now we're at the awesome font. We need awesome font for Conkeys to have these little nice icons. And these are Areola Conky, the Serdi icons, Servant icons, the Arc theme, of course, but then the blue one, the original one, the blue version from Horst 3180, and a breeze cursor to have a nice cursor in a few moments because I do not like this cursor. It's all personal, I know, but it's just, it's also kind of way of working, a procedure of working that maybe you can uh, follow at here. Okay, <coughs> 300, 400, 
400 for me is the things that are specific. So like this one, this is really specific. The Noto font is not specific. The Noto font is just coming from uh, Linux Mint, a font I like. But this one, the XFCE4 Whisker menu plugin is the one I'm going to change in a bit because I do not like this menu. I prefer the Whisker menu. Mugshot is um, not, cannot show it yet, but it's to make a nice picture in your system. So these are the specific elements of any distro. So talking about Cinnamon or talking about Openbox, they will be in here. So 400 and the 500 we're going to skip. We don't want to share my network drivers, my network folders over to another computer. So that's um, sparing uh, some time. OK, this concludes our installation. And I'm going to stop here. And then we're going to go to the personal folder. And then we're going to make it all nice.